Hey everybody, it's Gameragi. We're back with Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy. Last time, uh, we got Prince Tutankhamen Common into a pretty p precarious situation. But now we're Sphinx, and uh, again, we're also in a precarious situation. It's like a common running theme going on. Oh, there he is, speak of the devil. God, what are they doing? <laughs> Nefertiri, why are you crying? Why is she there? What's going on? <laughs> um. No. Oh, that doesn't look good. That does not look good. Nefertiri, uh, help me out? Oh no. I'm getting a super Egyptian x-ray. Yikes. That doesn't look good. Sphinx, what are you doing? What are you doing? Why don't you go help uh, that random dude you don't even know yet? That might be good. Okay, so we got a rope over there. What be this? There's a recess for some kind of item. Cool. And some more skeletons. Skellig Skellingtons. Well, let, let me just uh, do this before I get really confused. Yeah, you look better there. I think. I like the way Sphinx climbs. It's like he barely even uses his legs. <laughs> Can't reach it. Okay, okay, okay. Cool, cool. Jump! No, you missed it. You, you, you totally missed it, man. Gotta time your time your stuff better. Everything tastes better with cheddar. Cheddar cheese, that is. Oh, uh, jump! Oh, uh, it's such a weird way to grab a rope. <laughs> All right, now we pull this lever. And see, it switches the two uh, the, the, the thingies, the jiggers, those, which is totally useful. Good thing I put you here. Uh, that was a good idea. Okay, now I gotta hit these lamps. Because it makes sense. Boosh! You got a glyph key. Booyah! Booyah! Um. Okay. I need you again, Mr. Skellington. Um. Over here. Whee! <laughs> there you go. That's a much better side. Much better. I don't remember what's on this side, but I think I need it. So, let's do it. No. Rope! Ah. Oh, you have so much momentum. What the heck? I didn't grab it. That's probably the most stressful part of this game, is trying to grab these ropes. I just don't like to cooperate sometimes. So yeah. No! <laughs> oh god, god, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. <sighs> I'll get it this time. Don't even worry about it. It's gonna be easy. Like snapping a toothpick. There we go. Woo! What is that from, snapping a toothpick? Uh... Oh, Hercules! Right? Yeah, Hercules says it when he's holding Meg. Oh, no, 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 oh, no, what am I thinking? It's Incredibles! Yeah, yeah! When he's holding that skinny woman that shouldn't even be alive because she's so skinny. I remember that. Ah. Okay. Lamps. Lamps. Look at me. I'm Castlevania. Boosh. What is this? Ah, another glyph key. See, I knew it. I knew we needed that. Okay, we don't need you, Mr. Bones. Oh, see, there's two. Huh. <laughs> I didn't see the other one. Okay. Here you go, Mr. Glyph Key. Levitate right in there. It's like Captain Hook. Captain Hook, 
must remember never to pick his nose. Captain Hook must remember never to scratch his toes. I think that's how that goes. <laughs> oh! Woo! Depth perception. Ah. So I'm not going to use my legs to hold on, just my arms. That's all. If you keep working out your arms only, man, you're going to look like a gorilla. Although you're kind of a lion, so... Never mind. Disregard. I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, so this thing might look familiar. If you've ever played the game Simon. This is the game Simon. So let's do it. Red, blue, green, yellow, green, red. Red, blue, green, yellow. Ah, uh, green, red. Red. Oh, thank God. Whew. How did I remember that? And then once it's done, we can smash that. Yeah. Is that all I want to do? Yep, I guess it is. Okay. Here we go. Uh, okay, now we gotta hit all these. Push. Push. Can't hit those, they're too high. Gotta pull that. Hey, look at you. Look at you, Mr. Cage. Came all the way over here. Uh, and. And. Oh, we gotta do it in a time. Okay. Oh, never mind, never mind. It's, it's all good, it's all good. And we lowered those ropes. How convenient. I think we actually want to go back and do that before we go in that spike room. I don't like spikes. They're too impaling. Way too impaling. Hmm. <laughs> Mm-hmm! Like that, look at that. Don't wanna mess with that. Man, you can't even, like, sneak in between those. They got, like, inner spikes. Just so you can... Yeah. It's mean, man. It's mean. Pulley, pulley! Ah, perfect! Okay. And we gotta get this one over here. Boop. I don't know if this is timed or not, so I'm gonna go pretty fast. <laughs> we'll see. Oh god! <laughs> should have made it. I should have made that. Yeah. <laughs> god. It's such a high jump for how little you move. Oh god. Ba da da da. As you can tell, this game ramped up in uh, in uh, difficulty rather quickly. I mean, before we were just like throwing rocks and stuff. Now we're like doing all sorts of crazy things. All sorts. Hello, bones. Hello, cage bones. Oh, it's Mr. Tutankhamen, yet again! Is he still getting an x-ray? You know, that can be bad for your health, dude. Oh, no! He's being mummified! So that's the cursed mummy. Uh-huh, yep, now you get it. Now you get it. <laughs> Wait a second, I sense something! Sir, there is an intruder in the building! What? Destroy him! He cannot interrupt the ceremony! Forsaken spirits of this building, wake up, arise, and kill the intruder! Don't do that! Darn it! Oh no! We're going down, bones! We gotta kill all these skeletons. Just plummet from the ceiling at random. Or just appear out of nothing, that's cool. 
When they're flashing red like that, I think they're invincible, so you can you have to wait for them to get up. Get up off that floor. Whoa! Yeah, if you time it right, they can't do anything. They're locked down. Oh no! Skeleton in the corner came to life! Oh no! Yeah, perfect. Money, money, money. Money, money. Money plays a huge part in this game, so you're gonna want to get as much as you can. Oh boy. Am I done yet? One more? There you go. Ah! You ain't got nothing on me, bones. I don't want to fall in there. I really don't. Something about green glowy stuff just screams plutonium. Ugh. Yeah, that's definitely plutonium. Hello? You got the shield of Osiris! This magical shield was used in battle by the great god Osiris himself. You can use the shield to protect yourself from many types of enemy attacks and other hazards. Yep, yep. Um, so, I'm really bad at using the shield in battle. <laughs> I honestly don't know how useful it is. But you do have to use it for, like, this part. <laughs> I, I don't use it all that much, honestly. See, this is what it looks like. It's pretty freaking awesome. Oh, and why'd you come to life? I really like the sound effects when you're attacking monsters and stuff. It's like Zelda. It's, it's like everything's like Zelda. Nothing's like itself. Everything's like Zelda. I almost knocked him right off the edge, I did. There he goes. Okay, we're gonna do this again. Oh boy. Whew. Trust in the heart of the cards, Yugi. Oh, I did it. I did it. Ah, now the only thing is trying to reach the other side without falling. Easier said than done. Oh, Which way you coming alive? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Explode. That's what you're supposed to do. <laughs> okay, uh, let's kill this guy. Man, he has some spiky vertebrae. What are you, a stegosaurus? Man. Health! Yeah, full health. You're gonna wanna save. You're gonna wanna save. Why? Because you always wanna save. Of course. If you don't save, then when you die, you're in trouble. Okay, so we can use this shield to get through here. Uh, it's actually pretty tricky. Especially when there's a skeleton. Come here, come here. No, 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 no! Ow, you jerk! Oh my god. Come back. No, please, come back. Listen to Willy Wonka. Come here. There you go. Okay, let's try to do this. Whew! That wasn't too bad, actually. <laughs> the thing is, it keeps firing, so you have to run in between the firing. Uh, where am I now? Oh, no. That can only mean bad things. Scooby doo be doo 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 Hey, a rope! Boink! Whoops! What happened, curses? Now we will have to start again. Look, there's the saboteur who ruined the ceremony. You fool! Deactivate the magical device. Can't you see it's going to explode? Uh, it's sucking us in! No! No, it's not sucking those in. And him. 
Oh, jeez. Oh, what a mess. What a what? Oh no! <laughs> Nefertiri! Sphinx, it's time to save the day. Whoa! Ow! <laughs> That's not how you save the day, Sphinx. These guys are actually pretty mean. I don't like them. Whoa! Oh, ouchies. No worries. You're safe. Oh, thank you for saving me. I'm eternally grateful. But now my beloved Todd is dead. How can I live without him? His face is all that remains of him. I'm sure that part of his soul is inside. Oh. I want you to take it. Your heroic actions assure me that you might be the one to bring him back. I got a can canopic vase. Part of the soul of Tutankhamun's sword inside. Please find him and bring him back to me. Oh, Tut, why did they do this to you? They didn't like him, I don't know. Before you go, take this. It's an amulet that Tut gave to me. He was fascinated by it, but I don't know why. To me, it's just an amulet. Dude, that's a portal amulet. That's like the best thing ever. Sphinx, you must meet with me in Heliop he Heliopolis. <laughs> I've never tried saying that before, as soon as possible. These events are clear evidence that something extremely sinister is taking place. The forces at work during this ceremony were far too powerful and demonic for my liking. We must find the source of this power before it grows to be a real menace. With that portal amulet, you can use the portal in the entrance of the to leave this place. Do not worry about Nefertiri. I will find a way to help her to escape from this wretched place. I want you to take this gold ankh. It will help you to face challenges you will inevitably f face <laughs> on your journey. He said face twice. That's cool! Good luck, Sphinx! You got the Abydos amulet. The oceanic symbols on this ancient artifact indicate transport to Abydos. Uh, Abydos? I, I, Old Ankh. It's a magical artifact. Increase your health capacity by one Ankh. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Oh, that was a lot of stuff happening. So, we have a we have a mission now. We have to bring back Mr. Uh, dude here. Mr. Tutankhamen. He's not... He's not looking so good, but uh, we'll do it. And uh, I think cano canopic vases, weren't they used to store mummy, like, organs and stuff? That's really gross. It's a good thing they went with soul. <laughs> it's part of his soul. Okay. Anyway, uh, I'm probably going to end this part here. Next time, we'll get out of this place and head towards Ab Abydos. So, yep. See you guys next time.